Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Baker Brews, and my name is Donna. I'm a stay-at-home mom to two boys, and today I want to share my love of books with you guys. Donna and I'm a stay-at-home mom to two boys. I was totally inspired by a channel called Novel Idea and she shares books that she has read and reviews and her thoughts. I love it. Like absolutely love how in-depth she goes, her memories with books. The things that she can remember out of books is insane. I do not have that kind of memory. But today I just wanted to share some books that my two boys have loved reading. I'm going to share some that my oldest, he's currently five, loved and still loves some that my youngest who's currently three loves and then some that both of them have really enjoyed so in total I have 35 books to quickly run through and share with you guys I'm gonna start with some little baby books these ones were ones that my oldest like absolutely loved you can hear him flipping pages of books that I have stacked here for my piles this book set was super cute. He was really into like anything that was touch and feel in books. So I bought the whole set of books, Wild Animals, Jungle Animals, and Baby Animals. And like, it's a really cute set and yeah, really well used. Then I have a set of three classics, I would say. I remember Brown Bear, Brown Bear when I was growing up and it was probably the book I chose to read, read, I say read, all the time because I memorized it. I didn't actually read it. I was a terrible reader. So this book, you just had to look at the pictures and you knew what was coming next. So I love this book and it's just a very good memory for me. Uh, the Going to Bed book, I feel like Sandra Boyton has a ton of fantastic books. This is one that our family has really fell in love with, but a lot of hers are really classic and very cute. Welcome back to our channel, we have Bob Bed. And then the other book I have is a Robert Munch book. Munch is like, I don't know, it's like what you give every kid for their first birthday. Like, I, I feel like Robert Munch has got some really great reads. I remember Mortimer and Thomas's snowsuit. And yeah, this is one of them that he really liked. The Five below, 50 below zero. The 50 below zero. Yeah, it was a really good one that we read a lot when he was younger. Then this book got a lot of love. You can see I had to tape the side. B is for Bear. It's just like another touch and feel book. So classic and just really cute. Three, uh, three paperback books that our family has really enjoyed a lot. Ten Drowsy Dinosaurs was really great for counting as well as for colors. Another Robert Munch book called Moria's Birthday was just, it's just really fun. Like she orders, I think it's like a hundred cakes and a hundred pizzas. Like it's just really funny and really fun. Jillian Jiggs and her dirty room. This one was like hilarious because she just always has a dirty bedroom and is always being told to clean up, but she's too busy doing other things and crafting and creating. And yeah, I just, I really enjoy it. And so did my kids. Oh, plus it had a naked girl right at the beginning. <laughs> what is that? A present? I'm a boy. There's somebody inside the present? That's hilarious! Oh, she's dragging the robot back inside. The watermelon seed. This was a gift from somebody and it's re it's really cute. It doesn't have a lot of words on some pages. Gulp. But the concept is really cute about not eating the watermelon seed. Otherwise, vines will grow out of your ears and a watermelon will grow in your belly. Your skin will turn pink. Like it's just a really fun one. And my friends said that they remembered it from their childhood. So this was like their childhood book. So I thought that was really sweet that they they gifted us this book um, for Lyric. And what we did actually for before our oldest was born, for the baby shower, we said no card. Please give a book instead. And we really wanted or encouraged people to sign inside the book, like to write something to our little one and who and their name. So that's what we did instead of cards. I just I really liked that idea. 
you're going to spend about half the amount on a card as you would on a book. So I just thought that was a really nice idea and alternative if you're not into cards. This was another gift from the baby shower and this book is very well loved. It has so many stories, the, the little golden book collection and this is nine Marvel superhero tales and Spider-Man, he was like our man. So we read the Spider-Man ones so many times in this book. Careful. Whoa! Like so many so many times and then we slowly went into like Hulk and Captain America and then Iron Man after that so it's just really awesome because it had so many superheroes and yeah this is just a very well loved very treasured golden book the book with no pictures is the one I believe they featured on the office and it's hilarious it's so fun it's it's literally got no pictures it's got crazy words and the kids enjoyed having somebody else, an adult, read it to them. And yeah, it's just a great little find, like really entertaining. face. <laughs> Face. This is the last book in my oldest pile that I set aside. This is the Explore and Learn Me and My Body book. This is from like Southwestern Learning Advantage, I think. But we got this second hand and like this was the book that was the topic of conversation every evening. They we liked to sit read a little bit of it and then at night like talk about our body and how our body works and I really feel like it's spurred on like the love of science and the love of like science with our body so yeah this one was like kind of what triggered and started like the whole science conversations that we had in the evenings together which I really enjoyed now we're going to jump into books that both my oldest and my youngest really loved so these are definitely books that hit the mark for both kids we're going to start with Potisaurus this was the book that was in the bathroom, that lives in the bathroom, it goes in and out of the bathroom. This is the potty training book, is Potisaurus. And I feel like just having one potty associated book is really useful. I don't, I don't even think I rented any more from the library or anything. This was the one, like it, it just works really well. It's not even like we were into dinosaurs. It just was like, it's a fun read, it's easy. Um, my oldest can even read it now so and it just covers everything you need like the hand washing and flushing and like an accident and like how you should feel after that an accident and stuff like that so yeah it's just it's a very awesome potty training overall book for for teaching kids then we have elmo's tricky tongue twisters this is a, a sesame street book that came with a few other little books but the tongue twister one was the one that both of them loved and really, like, really jived with. And then we have Sophie's First Words, which was really cute. It also was a book that was gifted to us from friends. And it was cute because it's like, it's got the little pop-ups and like very simple words, very simple things. And yeah, I think they both, I think we did have a Sophie giraffe. So there was also that association with the Sophie that we had. Good night, good night. Construction site is an oh, like an ultra classic. Like I adore, adore this book. I think it is so cute, especially for little boys. All the construction site stuff goes to bed. You know, you got your crane, your excavator, your bulldozer, and your dump truck, and the things they do in the construction site. I don't know. It's just very, it's very boy. They love it. It's the rhyming is really good. The the artwork is really well done. So yeah, this is just like a perfect, this is a perfect book. I love this one. It's the best book. It's the best book. And I'm going to allude later, there's another one that we have that also made it into the pile of our best kids books that we enjoy th at this time. Too much, not enough. Oh my gosh. This one we got and daddy read it to the kids in hilarious voices and then ever since then they have loved it like it's just so funny peanut 
is putting too much on everything, and he does too much of everything. He has He's a just, sandwich on his bed. He even has a sandwich on his bed. Who does that at this day? Like, just like crazy, crazy things. Like he's a hilarious character. He's funny, but I really like the concept of like, you can be funny, but then there's a point when it's too much. Like you can be excited, and then the problem is is sometimes it's too much. And you have to recognize that when your friends tell you that it's it's too much and you need to tone it down. So I really like the overall concept in this book and you can just make it like really fun. This beginner's Bible is really sweet and we have been reading it in our morning basket and I do find both of my kids on occasion flipping through it just randomly. They seem to like the pictures and I've seen Lyric, he's been able to read some of it. So I really like that that it, it fits for both kids and they can both get into it and we do a couple stories here and there in the mornings and yeah they just seem to really really do well with it these are our last two books on this pile of like jointly loved books you wanted to hold this one the my first colors lincoln likes the my first colors this really helped with learning our colors but it also has a lot of very common items and even some unfamiliar items that you would not see that very often, but um, yeah, it just has lots of a basketball. A basketball it has lots of stuff in it. It's almost like an I Spy book, but way easier. Well, do you see ice cream right here? I see an ice cream, yes. And a basketball. Yeah, and a basketball. Well, there's okay. a blue tractor. You see a there's blue tractor? And there's your blue tractor. You found it. I found it. <laughs> This last book in the pile, Canada 123, was a gift from a family member, and oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Lots of counting, so great for counting practice, but it also has some really cool, interesting things. It's got the farms, which are really relatable, like hockey players and stuff. So, but it's like, it, it says six hockey players, but you can also count the fans. There's also six fans. So I like that they have that added element of you can find another set of six on the page. And yeah, it's just been like a really beloved, like, beginning I was trying book. to count the hockey players. Were you trying to count the hockey players? I'm sorry, I already closed it. Okay, we're on to the last stack of books. These are, I would say, Lincoln's. These are your beloved books. Lincoln really loved That's Not My Pony. Again, another touch and feel book. So really loved because textile and lyric could read it to him. So that's really sweet. And that's why this book has really hit the mark and is on this pile. You're already into one. Baby says peekaboo. Where's Me. the baby? Is she behind the beach ball? Yeah. Peekaboo, she's lifting up her hat. Read it. I did read it. No, nothing. Where's the baby? Is she behind the blocks? Peekaboo, here's her dinosaur too. As you can see, Peekaboo baby is, is the one they love. Where is the baby? Is he under the washcloth? Peekaboo, he's taking a bubble bath. Here are all the babies, but there's still one baby missing. Can you guess who? Peekaboo, it's you. Good job, buddy. I'm a baby. Can you put it in the done pile? Peekaboo! <laughs> we like this one. What's this one called? Cookies Week. Cookies Week. Lincoln loved it because it has a cat in it. And I like it because it talks about the days of the week. Nice and simple. And Cookie always gets into On trouble. On Monday, Cookie fell into the toilet. Oh, poor Cookie. I don't want to go into it. Okay. <laughs> he, he fell into the toilet. He must have jumped in the toilet. That poor cat. Ooh, there was water everywhere. Ooh, there's water everywhere. Very, cranky. very cranky bear. And I love this book. It is so cute with the thoughtful sheep. I know there are other variations of it, but this one has been the one that we keep coming back to. The very cranky bear. And yeah, the message is so beautiful. It's so sweet. Just talking about being thoughtful and mindfulness. And I just, yeah, I love this one. It's, Pikachu. And there's a Pikachu sticker on it. Look at that. Well, thank you very much, said Bear. And soon he fell asleep. 
Maybe he was dreaming of a plain but thoughtful sheep. The end. 100 first animals. I mean, 100 first anything. There are so many 100 first books out there, but this one, I mean, Lyric used this one a lot too. It was really good for animal identification. And now Lincoln has really liked it. I mean, I think he really likes the page with the farm animals the most. The first page, of course. The first page we look at quite a lot. Right? Because there's a tractor on it. Oh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I think I got it secondhand somewhere, and Lincoln really likes it. He really enjoys hearing the story of Pinocchio. My youngest always likes to have these two books next to the toilet. These are the bathroom books. Pinocchio, which is a classic Disney story, and Ten Little Fingers and Ten Little Toes. They are the two books that are constantly in the And bathroom. Daddy read it so funny. He was like, oh, look. Yeah. No, he made up, made up he made up voices. Funny. He made up voices for the babies. Mommy, so that's why he thinks it's funny. You make up voices. Can you read? Good night, Little Blue Truck. There are so many um, variations of Little Blue Truck. I think we have the original Little Blue Truck, which also has a very nice message. Good night, Little Blue Truck is the one that has really taken off lately, and it's just really cute with with um, Toad and the Little Blue Truck and gathering up the animals, and I think they're afraid of the storm in this one, so that is... Yeah, it's just really relatable. It's very sweet. The artwork is very lovely and just the farm animals and that uh, there is no pictures of tractors in this one, but we still enjoy it. I think just because of the sto uh, storm element and everyone getting together or maybe it's because there's a farm. Is that why you really like it? Yeah, cuz you cuz there's a farm. There's no tractors. No tractors, but there's a farm. There's a truck. Yeah. Yeah. Filming. We love this book. This book is a we sell everything, which is really good because it's hard for me to show. And then we've got Kunai uh, Kunai Construction Site is the best. That was the Christmas one. Yeah, it's Christmas one. <laughs> and then there was a bedtime yawn with. Uh, so it's like dreaming, and then, yeah, that's that. You did we share everything? Yeah. Okay. A bedtime yarn. This one is so sweet. The bear with his mother's knitting needles and the sound of it, like helping him to fall asleep, and then he holds onto the ball of yarn so he can fall asleep and just like going through his fears when he's scared. Like Lincoln really loved this book. It is so cute. And just the dreams that he's having. We've been having a lot of conversations about dreams and just having comfort in that, that you, you're always safe. Yeah, it's a very sweet book. Okay, I think, I think we already talked about this one or someone helped me talk about this one, but construction site on Christmas night. Earlier we had the Good Night, Good Night construction site, and this one is basically the same thing, but they all get presents, which makes it more awesome, right? Blippi, It's Bedtime is so good. He's finding my younger one, like, reading the story. He knows exactly what Lino picks. Like, is it the purple pajamas or the red pajamas? And he'll be like, woof, the purple ones. Like, he knows the answer, and I think that is super cute that he's had this book read to him enough times that he knows what's going on on each page without anyone reading it to him. It's also very good for teaching basic bedtime routine and relating that back to just, this is what we do for bedtime. You can say the last book. The last book! Okay, this is the last book and this probably what? should have been in a pile for both of them. Plus, mommy really loves it. This is the Being Thankful book and we were gifted this one from a family member as well. And I mean, Little Critter is classic. I remember it from my childhood. And I love that this book really hones in on being thankful, on being grateful, um, comparison, and what to, like how to focus on good things that are happening in your life. And I feel like that is something that I want to teach. I want to encourage, not only for my children, but for myself. So it's a great reminder 
and having a thankful rock and just things like that. This book has been very pivotal in helping bring more awareness to being thankful. And with that, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it inspires you to read more books, find more books that your kids love, read more books with your family, and let me know in the comments below what are some of your classic, you know, favorite childhood books that you remember or books that your kids currently love. I would love some more recommendations, more ideas. We're always reading and it is such a love of mine. Thanks so much.